from the theorems of wages first is in 19th century french economics they can develop that one substancy wages substancy theory of theory substancy theory as per this theory the worker the labor whatever it they are receiving wages from the owner the particular wages a wages should be fulfill their minimum wants for example x receiving salary wages from a or 5000 or 6000 or 7000 whatever it is may be whatever it is a particular wages should be fulfillment of family needs that is the substance of the theory the the worker has a family has a children at least they can provide the family things the he has the children it is provide the education aspects hospitality and uh, everything okay so that's what i am saying that one we needs of the substance of the theory explain that one the level of if wages is below the substancy level the supply labor will be decrease if level of substancy will be higher and the supply also will be increasing okay when substancy will be higher then what will happen in this supply of the labor will be increasing so it is the relationship between the substancy and the labor when you are you always be concentrate about that labor of substancy if level of substancy is very low the supply of labor will be low and a decrease okay this is a theory is the further the developed by german economics that is iron of wages the german economics they are saying this kind of theory known as a iron law of wages iron law of wages they are saying okay next is next theory is fund wages fund theory wages fund theory so this kind of wages fund theory james mill they written the written one book the book name is the principles of political economy the principles of pulls of political economy written by j s mill j s mill okay according to that theory every entrepreneur will be keep able to capital to pay the wages you always keep the capital special they are going to concentrate of capital you keep the capital sufficiently which purpose we keep the capital to pay the wages why sometimes the workers the laborers they are making goods and services but sometimes goods never be sold now what will happen they till not wait to until the sold goods and services so that's what i am saying that one either sold goods or not you till to pay to wages to labor so otherwise labor will not be satisfied will will not be effort 
So what will happen this one? Here the product will be decrease. So as per J's mill, we keep always the capital to pay the wages. And which purpose we are meeting the capital? To future purpose. In future, what will happen? They don't know tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. So that purpose, we maintain the capital. Okay? Future needs purpose, we maintain the capital. According to Jail's Mills, is a demand and a supply and a labor. The three things main playing the role of labor wages to show the related to supply of labor. And uh, here to this, when you are paying that in time, those two labors, the supply and labor will be increasing, demand and everything is will be increasing. That is the thing. And our wages can be increasing. There is a of the wages of the fund, increase the wages of the fund. So when the when there is a fall in the supply. When it is possible, increase the raising fund and this increasing the only when the fall is the supply. Okay, here to go, wages rate is equal to, one equation is there, wages rate is equal to, what is the equation, amount of wages fund, amount of wages fund is equal to divided by number of labors number of labors we are giving the equation okay this is the first one this is the second one okay last is modern theory of wages Modern theory of wages. So, modern theory of wages, popular, explained by Alfred Marshall. Alfred Marshall. As per Alfred Marshall, they are saying the wages of labor determine the demand and the supply of labor. Alfred Marshall, they are explained, determine the supply of labor and a demand. The th two things may playing the role. The similar of the commodity of the pricing. The demand will be determine the various factors of demand and the productivity to product production. That is the, the technology they are using, marginal productivity of the labor, demand of this, Donate this. The supply of the labor depends upon the production, age, competition. So everything to qualification, skills, willingness, everything to they can utilize it. It is according to Alfred Marshall. Hence, the wages determine the point of price, the demand and the supply. It is the equal. Okay. This is the Various concepts and types of theories. Next is interest and a concept of theories. Words are interest, concept of theories. So, what do you mean by interest? Next is interest, concept of Theories. So it is a one of the factors of production of the interest to paying that one remuneration interest. Suppose when you are investing the capital, when you are taking the borrowing from others, we can repay it. So whatever it is you paying that one monthly or quarterly, yearly, that is called interest. So Wages is over and here to go concept. What is the concept? 
interest it is the concept the common run of interest payment made by the borrowings payment made by the borrowing of a labors and uh, expects by the rate of for 100 rupees borrowed either for a year whatever it is it generally comes up the registered of this the payment of the unit of circular okay as per corver said the interest is the income which is wages common of the capital as per who is that one who is that one that one corver to the interest of the payment so what purpose borrowing of the capital okay so is the concept of interest the concept of interest of the two types namely gross interest and a net interest how many types are there two types first is gross interest next is net interest so what do you mean by gross interest the payment of lending receiving from the borrowing the lending rent of the borrowing exceed of the proposal of the gross interest it is companies are following the payment this come this kind of things compare this following this payments and uh, that is called gross payment gross payment nothing but lender receiving from the borrowing to including this prop proportional to this gross interest okay so what is the next one net interest so here to payment of the service capital or money payment of interest or capital money this interest is economic sense so these are the types of interest gross interest and a net interest and i hear that we how this another type is this here reward for risk taking what sir reward from risk taking second one reward for risk taking 